please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get all my latest updates hello everyone this is Chinni and I am from the CyberK YouTube channel and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Burp Suit scanner module to uh, scan for vulnerabilities of a website okay so this thing actually you cannot do with your free version which you have been using so I suggest go to portswigger.net burp and either download the trial version of professional version or buy that if you have money okay because you can't continue with the free edition to the scanner module anymore okay so either download the trial version or buy the professional version okay so once you downloaded it I already opened it here okay so here it is so it, the things what I'm going to talk about here like target proxy etc etc all these things are covered in the previous videos if you haven't seen them go with them I will keep the links in the description box or in the cards check them out and come back here so first of all we need to add a target all you have to do is uh, check out whether your intercept is off or not make sure it is off otherwise it will annoy you okay so go to target and uh, load the website which you want to scan okay before I load let me tell you one thing okay it's already loaded uh, under scanning we have a section called live scanning okay live scanning means as soon as your page loads okay as soon as your page loads it will be scanned okay so we have two kind of scans here active scanning and passive scanning so live passive scanning means every time you load a website it will be automatically scanned but passive scanning cannot send any requests it can only observe the requests and responses so it can't show you critical vulnerabilities but it is somewhat useful okay by default live passive scanning is activated on every website okay so you don't have to worry about that coming to active scanning active scanning means it will actively send packets to the target and inspect how they are responding and everything like that so it can uh, detect the potential vulnerabilities like cross site scripting SQL injection etc okay by default live active scanning will be uh, disabled so what you have to do is uh, use su suit scope or you need to select use custom scope okay so you can right now there is no scope selected here if you just check out uh, okay scope is already there if it is not there how to set this scope you have seen in the previous video if you don't know how to do that you can do that so you can just watch it and check out so I'm selecting use suit scope so whatever is given in the scope will be automatically scanned now if I open this particular allroommutual.com it will be automatically scanned and I can see the results okay so like that we can perform automatic scanning if that website is uh, loading during the load actually that is what live scanning meaning okay whereas there is other method which you can use to perform scanning okay so if I if you see here in the scan queue whenever the website loads it will be automatically scanned okay here it is the results you can see that cross site uh, referral leakage frameable response all these things are uh, results of a passive scanning okay active scanning also as I have enabled okay so like that it will be scanned so it's already added height map ultra mutual lightoscope yeah added now suit scope and if I reload it or if I click on any page all of that pages will be scanned actively because I have selected active scanning if you see here scan queue earlier this page was not available now it is there okay so right now it is scanning okay so this is one method to scan either do live scanning lively whenever you open a website automatically that will be scanned that is live scanning there is another method to perform scanning that I'm gonna show you in the coming video because I can't make this video big actually so that's all for this video if you like this video hit a like and uh, immediately after this there will be another video where I'm, I'm gonna show you how to perform active scanning passive scanning by yourself instead of live scanning so please check that video also that link for this video will be there in the description or you can follow the playlist thanks for watching this video have a nice day